Your health bar looks like this. Over the course of the day, you need to eat to fill your hunger meter to keep your health bar full, along with your other vitals. If you don't do this, it will take three to five in-game days without food or water, or up to three in-game weeks with water and no food to get a game over. So here's a quick recap on how the food mechanics work in the current build of the game. Energy is needed by all characters to function. However, some builds have slightly higher or lower BMR and RMR, which are basal metabolic rate and resting metabolic rate, or the amount of energy your body needs to perform basic tasks like breathing and the amount of energy your body needs to function while at rest, respectively. These vary on different factors, like age, sex, or consumable items like drugs. Most human builds vary on average, but a human player's BMR will be around 1500 calories a day. But what's a calorie? A calorie is a unit of energy is referred to in nutrition as energy from consumable items like food and drinks. Now you may have seen some in-game tutorials made by fellow players that have not been updated. These show improper or biased explanations on which consumable items are the best for the current meta. For example, you'll see it in the food pyramid common to the school questline. So if this diagram doesn't show us which items we should be consuming, how do we figure this out? Food items are classified under the nutrient category. Broadly, we see two different subtypes, those being macronutrients and micronutrients. Macros are items commonly talked about on global chat, and there's some mixed information on which of them are bad for you and what your character should consume daily. The reality is each of the three core macronutrients are important for your character. So let's break them down. First is carbohydrates. This is the body's main source of short-term energy. It helps digestive health and immune function, to name some other perks. It also has four calories for every gram. It can be found in two forms, simple and complex. Simple are easy to break down and are considered less healthy to eat in excess. Examples include raw sugar, brown sugar, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup, glucose, fructose, sucrose, and fruit juice concentrate. Complex are not as easy to break down, but are considered healthier for you by comparison. Examples include fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, whole grains, whole wheat bread, cereal, corn, oats, peas, rice, and beans. Next is protein. The main use in the body is for repair and growth. It also regulates cell process and preserves muscles. It has four calories for every gram. There are two main types of proteins. Incomplete proteins lack certain amino acids that the body is incapable of making. Examples include beans, peas, lentils, nuts, and seeds. Complete proteins have all nine amino acids the body needs. These are seafood, meat, poultry, eggs, and soy products like tofu. Next is fats. This is the body's main source of long-term energy. It also helps absorb vitamins and regulates temperature. It has nine calories per gram. There are considered to be four categories of fats. Saturated and trans fats are generally considered the unhealthy fats. They both risk the heart disease debuff along with some other negative effects if eaten in excess. Saturated examples include red meat, dairy products, and coconut oil, while trans fats include margarine, shortening, frozen pizza, or pastries. The remaining two are both types of unsaturated fats, which are considered healthier in comparison. They are monounsaturated fats, which are found in olive oil, canola oil, or avocados, and polyunsaturated fats, like omega-3, which is found in salmon, tuna, and flaxseed, and omega-6, which is found in nuts, sunflower oil, and corn oil. You may have already noticed some overlap between the items listed. This is because consumable items contain different amounts of macros. Usually when you see an item listed somewhere as a protein food, this is because this is the highest macro present, not necessarily the only one. The name of the consumable item game is to eat in moderation. This breakdown does not mean that you shouldn't let yourself have a treat every once in a while, or that you need to be scared of food items in general, or even that you need to keep track of every single item your character is consuming, although some players have made plugins to track this for them, and that can potentially be of some help. The two remaining in the macro category are water and alcohol. Now water is a different kind of macro because your body needs it in larger quantities, but it doesn't have a caloric amount to it, and alcohol is widely considered to be empty calories, because your body cannot store the energy for later, and it stops absorption of certain nutrients. Additionally, it is processed in the liver similar to fats, and is at 7 calories per gram. Now we get into the micronutrients. These are all needed at a lower quantity, and are not produced by the body. These items fall into three different categories, with the first two considered essential for the body. First we have vitamins. These are organic substances made from animals or plants. These are divided into water soluble, which are vitamin C, B complex and folate, and fat soluble which are vitamins A, D, E, and K, meaning they dissolve in either one and are absorbed through the body in that way. However, excess water-soluble vitamins leave during the urination quick time event. These are found in citrus fruit, red and green peppers, potatoes, strawberries, blueberries, and leafy green vegetables. Next is minerals. These are inorganic substances in soil or water. Examples include calcium, 
sodium, potassium, copper, iron, iodine, and zinc. These are found in cereals, bread, meat, fish, dairy, nuts, fruit, and vegetables. Both vitamins and minerals help a wide range of processes in the body, like cell function, absorption of other nutrients, bone, cardiovascular, nervous system functions, and hormone production. Lastly, we get into phytonutrients, or phytochemicals. These are not considered essential, but have anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, and antioxidant effects in the body. These are found in red and purple berries, orange and dark green leafy vegetables, and bell peppers, to name a few. So that was a breakdown of all the types of consumable food items you can find in the game. Let me know if this was useful for you and if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Maybe I'll make one about non-essential consumable items, like drugs and medicine. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. And thanks for playing.